Hello all, welcome to Thoughts on Education by College Dunya. Today we are at Anant National University and today we have with us Bhaskar Bhatt sir. He is Director of Anant National University. Welcome to College Dunya portal sir. Thank you. So uh, starting with our question and answer, my first question to you is, you have held a key position at Education Institute throughout your professional career. What are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector? Yeah. Uh, thank you, it's a great question. So this is my 20th year in uh, the field of design and design education. And um, it's, it's a very exciting field to be in. The reason I'm in education is I'm very motivated to teach young students uh, who will go on to become the future of this country. So I think that motivation is really what's most important for any teacher, not just me any teacher in this country or across the world. Uh, in design, it's really important to uh, pay attention to the teacher-student relationship because design is often taught one-on-one -on -one in small batches and small groups and as a result of which the role of the teacher becomes that much more important. And so that's what I truly enjoy about the profession is to read, to understand, to share that knowledge is what I get really like. Yes, sir. Moving on to our next question, uh, being the director of School of Design at Anant National University, what is your philosophy of leadership? How would you describe your leadership role? Uh, that's a great question, Moit. Um, you see, leadership in education has multiple facets. One is uh, one of the clear motivations that we have as the, the leader of the School of Design is to ensure that each one of my students gets the best experience possible in the four years that he or she is here. It's important because in design, one has to really feel and learn the subject. Uh, and as a result, we create a lot of experiences in terms of quality of education, quality of internships, quality of uh, industry visits, uh, eminent speakers coming from outside. So my role really, one of the leadership tenets is to is to create as many best academic experiences as possible for the student. The second thing is a little more outwardly facing and the second responsibility as the director for the School of Design is to ensure that we play a strong role in the developmental projects of the country. And Anand University has been a very strong player in the last five, six years in terms of projects that we do with the government and the industry. And we're beginning to be known as a university that can actually deliver, not just talk or not just teach, but actually deliver. So we've done several projects with several industries and the government. We work very, very closely with the government of Gujarat on several projects and a lot of students are involved in this project. So I think that balance between industry, government and uh, proper education is really where the magic lies. Thank you for sharing your thoughts on leadership, sir. Moving on to our next question. How does the curriculum of Anant National University ensure the best practice of industry? Thank you, that's a fantastic question. Um, unlike other design schools, Anant University has a very, very different take on how design education has to be taught. Here, we offer a combination of majors and minors. You must have heard of this kind of a system in liberal arts colleges or in uh, engineering or management schools, but it is not really followed in design universities across the country or many design universities across the country. Anand University is India's first design X university. And why do we call ourselves X, design X? It is because you can take a major in, let's say, fashion design or product design or, or uh, automotive design, etc. But you can take a minor in data analytics, artificial intelligence, climate sciences, uh, you know, uh, visual arts, for example. So this is really the magic recipe where you don't come and do just one degree, but you come in to learn about that thing that you want to learn about, but you also go home or go back to the industry with uh, other skill sets, which are super important. Now, when we say artificial intelligence, it is just not the realm of engineering or it's just not the realm of computer science. So design has a massive role to play in the world of artificial intelligence because we have to humanize technology. Otherwise, it is going to be the doomsday scenario which we often see in science fiction movies. 
that is the reason why designers must be exposed to uh, upcoming terms in technology but we offer a wide variety we offer uh, visual arts we offer graphic design we offer climate sciences um, entrepreneurship these are all different minors that we offer so this major and minor combo is i think the most powerful thing that we do at our university absolutely sir uh, moving on to our next question uh, what is your role as a director uh, what are your roles and responsibility to the university and the students thank you uh, my role as the director for the school of design has multiple roles first and foremost i am a teacher though i am the director i continue to teach many many courses Uh, across the undergraduate and the masters programs so the first role is really as a teacher to to be involved with the students my second role is that of executive leadership as executive leadership i am i am responsible to ensure that this school has a vision has a positioning in the market and we are different with our strategies and the third thing is to ensure that each one of our student who comes from anand university is knowledgeable smart and employable because the world has dramatically changed so you cannot have a, a, a syllabus which is 20 years old but promises to take you 20 years into the future it requires a different mindset it requires a different approach and that's that's exactly what my role is to bring together teaching or knowledge executive leadership and administrative state of capabilities together to make sure that students are winners or thank you sir uh my next question to you would be uh what do you think should be the university top priority over the next 10 years um uh, i think the university has multiple priorities i would not say one top priorities but it is multiple priorities the first priority that the student has and any any university has is to ensure that the students are taken care of and the students are provided with opportunities for the best future possible for them so that i think is sacrosanct for any university and at anand university that's that's honestly the first and the foremost objective that we have is that our students are trained enough to get into the industry and find the best employment possible uh, other than that we have uh, great concerns for the way the world is going to move in the next 10 years we see that some of the things that were relevant 20 years ago will not be relevant anymore it's a very dynamic very different and a fast changing world what we call as a vuca world where it is uncertain unpredictable the rise of artificial intelligence uh, the reduction or the possibilities of unemployment tomorrow for a lot of people climate change uh, climate crisis for example these are all things that continue to worry about but we don't see them as problems we see them as opportunities because this is precisely where we can get in and try and make a difference and that's what we seek to train our students in uh, is to understand the these challenges but be ready to be problem solvers for these challenges absolutely sir uh, my next question to you would be according to you the greatest strength of anand national university are I'll I'll try and answer this question in a slightly different way. Most people think that the greatest of the universities or the best of the universities are these large places with thousands of students and hundreds of faculty doing hundreds of little things. But you'll often realize that the best universities in the world are actually small places with highly dedicated staff, highly trained faculty, having smaller number of students with extreme amount of focus. that is exactly what anand university aspires to be we do not sacrifice the quality of one on one student time for numbers we take in a very carefully regulated hand picked uh, set of uh, students in our undergraduate program we have teachers who are highly dedicated and we believe in giving time to the student so we're not interested in massive numbers we are interested in making sure that you as a student has the best future possible that really is the difference so size is not an advantage in some cases being small agile nimble is actually a bigger advantage in the uncertain world that we live in completely agree with you sir uh, my last question to you would be uh, any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students 
Absolutely. I'll I'll speak from my heart to all those students who are interested in design and architecture because that's really the field I come from. I'm an engineer who trained in product design, and so my heart lies with people who want to be potential designers and engineers of tomorrow. So I speak to them, but I speak in general to all students. One of the uh, heartfelt messages that I would like to talk to you about is, you know. As compared to my generation, which lived in a world without the internet, I was in engineering uh, when 30 years back internet came into the country. But today we are born into a world with digital devices and the internet. You were born into a universe where cell phones already existed, the internet already existed. Now this has brought on a different kind of a problem where we tend to think less and consume more. Now, your consumption is constant. It is either through Instagram, YouTube, uh, websites, uh, Facebook, whatever, which is not wrong. We live in a world of social media. We live in the world of digital entertainment and digital information, which is absolutely fine. But I see that the current crop of students think less, feel less, and they begin to rely on Google and you know other forms of digital information the most which I think is dangerous because if you don't work on this, this is the biggest computer of them all, not the one in your hands or not the one that you work with. This is actually the biggest machine that you should be paying attention to. So my suggestion simply is read more, look at the world more, think more, ask more questions and reduce your time on social media. I'm not saying stop it. It's not possible for any of us to stop it. But I think we must learn to read and think more. Otherwise, we will compromise our own futures. So that's my message to the younger generation. Think think more, think more. Thank you, sir, for giving the message. I'm sure student will get benefited from this. Thank you for giving all the answers, sir. Thank you, sir. Most welcome. I wish all of you the very, very best for your futures. Thank you, sir.